Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. I am in a bit of a new room set up today because we actually moved Heidi into her own big bedroom, which is so, so fun. It means I have this room to record and that's it, but it should be okay. In today's video, I'm gonna be running through the empty products from the month just gone. I feel like I've used so many products up this month and I have so much to share with you. So without making this intro too long, let's just get straight into it. Okay, so starting off we have got another bubble bath if you watch my empties videos which i filmed every single month this year there's always one of these of some sort in my empties videos i just love having baths sometimes with bubble bath and not going too crazy even though my lush haul that i did recently showcased how much i love a bath but something like this is great for when it's more of a quick not so luxurious bath but this one was just the asda one it was really really nice i definitely recommend these cheaper ones i feel like they work just as well next up is a deodorant this is the Lidl's floral boutique 48 hour deodorant no frills works really well i tend to buy this all the time because i find that it's actually quite strong um i just like having a deodorant that smells really nice that you can really smell and i feel like this just ticks those boxes and i try various different ones from different brands but i tend to go back to this one quite a lot and obviously it's really affordable because it is from lidl so that's another great one that i tend to repurchase all the time next up there is a hair mask which the review i believe is coming up um, I've been trying to film ahead a little bit because I knew we were doing this room swap over and I didn't know how long it would take but this is a hair mask that I've got a review of coming soon if it's not already up and this is the Tame the Main one from So. Um, this is the company that makes those fragrances that probably a lot of people remember from being at school I certainly do um, but they have recently come out of a hairline so I wanted to grab one to test it out and I've completely finished this one off I used this twice and all of my thoughts and opinions are in that video coming up so definitely stay tuned for that but this is an affordable one I got from Superdrug so I thought I'd mention it now this month seemed to be the month that I used up a lot of makeup and I feel like so many people have that where you don't use up anything for so long and then one month everything runs out at once which is definitely telling for the month I've just had so my favorite foundation ever is the Estee Lauder double wear stay in place makeup I get the shade 1w2 sand and that suits me when I'm not tanned and even though I really got into tanning this year I feel like with the second lockdown I just can't be asked and um, so I've actually got through this one I used to be really really specific about the products that I would use like I'd save this for special occasions but I now just tend to use things up because I feel like I have them so every day should be a special occasion so I like to do that and it also means that nothing kind of goes out of date or goes weird and so that's one that I used up apologies if there is any background noise Rich is downstairs with Heidi and she's not feeling 100% so it's one of those kind of cartoony days today so if you do hear a little bit in the background that is why but I finished that one up and then next up another foundation is the MAC Studio Fix Fix Plus um, foundation I feel like so many people love this and this is in the shade NC15 which I think is actually a little bit too light for me I can get away with it because I really bronze up when I use it but I probably wouldn't buy this shade again I'd probably go to NC25 instead I really like the undertones in this though I find that the yellow undertones are so good to match my skin even though I'm probably more on the neutral side I do find that if I wear neutral foundations sometimes it comes across too pink on my skin and my face tends to be more red than the rest of my body so I tone that down with a yellow based foundation and yeah I do really enjoy this I have a backup still in my collection because I've not been wearing makeup as often this year as I have been before I have so much more foundation to use and I also have a Huda Beauty one on the way I ordered it from Cult Beauty because they had 30% off which I thought was so so good so I have that and I finished that up it'll be interesting to see how I feel once I finish the backup whether I would repurchase it because I've probably had this in my makeup collection since 2014 it's been a long time OG in my collection next up is a nod to another product review that is coming up on my channel and also part of a giveaway so make sure you keep an eye out for that video it's the Olaplex number no. zero launch kit so within here I believe I've got the little one in here somewhere here we go 
So it came with a little sample size of the number three, which is the Hair Perfecta. I've done a full dedicated review video on this already, which I know is up. The number zero is basically the priming agent to use before that to see if it made a difference. I wanted to put that to the test, so I got the launch kit, but I got two so that I could use one and test it out and review it. And also I could do a video on my channel and give one away too. So just as a little thank you for all of your wonderful support this year, I do have a giveaway, giving away this set. So if you are interested in winning that, then keep an eye out for that video. It'll be coming really, really soon. But yeah, I really like this and um, keep tuned for my final thoughts. There's another little deodorant. I didn't see this one down here, much the same, really like it. I feel like I probably didn't use two fully up this month. I think I started using one and I used the other. So these ones are probably half full at the beginning of the month and I've just finished them both off. All right, there's two more makeup products. Like I said, this was the month of like finishing everything off. It was really weird how they all kind of come together. So the next one is the Collection Last Imperfection Concealer. This is in the shade Fair One. I really like this concealer. It's probably been my favorite concealer of this year so far. And that said, I have been trying a lot of like different ones, but this is the one I tend to go back to all the time. It's like my fail safe. It doesn't ever go dry under my eyes, which is a problem I always have with more drugstore concealers. But this one I find just works really well. It's really reliable. And just one that I would repurchase time and time again. I know that they've repackaged these since, but when they went discounted before they were repackaged, I bought loads because they went really cheap. And so I've got a couple more that are like this to use up before I buy them again. But I think this is gonna be something that would be in my makeup collection forever. And then let's talk about the next makeup product. So this is the Benefit Gimme Brow. I think that this is a full size one, I believe. Um, I've had this for ages. This tends to last forever. This is in the shade one. It's the Brow Volumizing Fiber Gel. I really like this in terms of keeping my eyebrows up. That said, this month I've really discovered soap brows. I'm really, really late to the game, but I find that the way that they make my eyebrows look, and I don't have big eyebrows anyway but they really help to volumize them and this running through that made a really big difference so I used all of the rest of this up I probably had this in my collection for well over a year and it's lasted so well but now it's pretty much completely gone I love the little brush on it it's so precise and I haven't yet repurchased it but this is definitely reminding me that I need to so there's three more products to talk about I feel like with these empties videos I like to kind of do them as quickly as I can to share my opinions, but also not make the videos too long. And um, the next one is this perfume, and this is the River Island Tokyo perfume. This is a real OG in my collection. I remember my sister-in-law got me this smaller size as a sample a couple of Christmases ago, and I probably think it was longer ago than I have in my head, because realistically we're in 2020 now, which is really weird. Um, but I bought the full size based on using it because she had bought it for me. I love the smell. And I finally used this up. I have so many different perfumes in my collection, which I love. But this is a really nice one. There's like literally hardly any left. It's such a nice, like affordable perfume. Now I'm not even sure if they still make this because I have had this for a very long time, but I feel like River Island and Zara perfumes are so underrated and they're so good for the price. They're really, really affordable and I feel like they're really similar to high-end fragrances. It says it's an RD toilet, but I actually feel like this is as strong as a perfume. And so it's definitely one I would recommend if they still sell them, definitely give them a whiff. They would make lovely Christmas presents as well if you're leaving it a little bit late to pick out something for a loved one. Perfumes from River Island and Zara are so good quality. So I really recommend checking them out if you're looking to buy a gift from someone, especially if you are doing Secret Santa this year. If you're going back to work, I have no idea what that looks like in terms of my company. Um, but I feel like this is a really nice present because you get so much for the money. So next up I have got, these are actually a really weird product to be talking about, um, but this company called Vice Reversa got in touch with me on Instagram and asked me if I wanted to try out a couple of their products. And I was so intrigued because I've seen people talk about them before, but it's not something I've tried personally. And essentially they sent me the micro needling plumping patches, which are for wrinkles, fine lines. And um, I think these ones you could use like not right under your eyes, but kind of around here where you start developing wrinkles as you get older um, and they also sent some pimple patches which have those micro needles in them to basically treat 
the problem so I tried out one of their pimple patches and it literally sucked out the gunk of a spot so I put it on before bed woke up the next day and the disgustingness was on the patch and I peeled it off and the spot had basically gone it was magic and so these ones I tried out I think because I don't have particularly wrinkly skin um, I am starting to notice that I'm kind of getting some lines around my eyes and I think that's just because I turned 26 but I'm really trying to make sure that I treat them using the right products and so it was really nice to try these um, I don't think that they're anything dramatic in terms of getting rid of wrinkles but it was a nice relaxing experience and it's something that I would definitely recommend but like I said their pimple patches were amazing and I kind of want to do a bit of a talk through on Instagram about those because they are so unique and I've seen so many people talk about them but because I hadn't tried them before I didn't actually believe they worked as well as they did but yeah I thought I would just give this brand a bit of a shout out because I've seen that they can be quite expensive those types of products so definitely check out these guys these are Vice Reversa I was sent these to try out but don't really have any obligation to talk about them but they were nice and I wanted to let you know that I had finished a packet off and last up is a face mask that I have used up, well, I say used up, it's, it needs to be thrown away. The rest of it has really dried up and you can probably see it's cracking a little bit. Um, I probably have about a third left in there, but it's so dry. And this is the problem that I have is that when I love a product similar to this, I'll buy all of them in the range. So this one I had the brightening one, which is this one. They had a classic charcoal one, which is more black in colour. They had a blue clay one, which was really, really nice. And I actually probably preferred the charcoal based ones and so this one I just didn't really reach for as much even though it has a brightening and exfoliating properties I feel like I like something that's a bit more spot prone and it helps with my spots a bit more so I just tended not to reach for this one and so I've decided to call it a day it's really dried out and to try and resuscitate it with water just doesn't make sense plus as well it says it has a 12 month open life and I probably had this for about two years I think so it's it needs to go but I really did enjoy this range of clay masks from L'Oreal I feel like they're so affordable you get tons of uses out of them and again a lovely present if you're looking to buy a stocking filler for someone I feel like face masks you can't go wrong everyone loves a face mask or if you're looking just to do a bit of pampering over the festive period something like this would be really lovely to just use for yourself and actually take time out to chill I feel like everyone's had a really hectic year this year so Making sure that you look after number one is really, really important. So that is all of my empty products this month. I really hope that you've enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you have been enjoying my empty series. I know that I asked in my last video if you'd like me to continue this into next year. And I've had a few comments saying that you really enjoyed these videos. So if you do, do let me know down below. It really helps me just decide what content to do moving forward. Sometimes I like to mix it up a little bit. So if you want me to keep this style of videos and do let me know. But that's all from me today. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Make sure that you stay safe and stay well and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys!